when it comes to coats, I really do truly believe that it's worth spending the money. In winter, quite often, all you'll see is a coat and your boots or your shoes. So to get something that's truly exquisite that is going to stand the test of time is really worth it. This was actually a requested video by one of my regular subscribers, so I do hope you're going to enjoy it. It has certainly turned a little bit colder this week in England, and we have been selling quite a few more coats. If you are interested in any of the pieces that I talk about today, you can find them by clicking the link to the top left, and you will also get 15% off your first purchase. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video. So here at Timpanese, we are all about buying for investment, buying pieces that will see you through not just one season, but many seasons. And in order to do that, I do think you need to think quite carefully about the pieces that you want to buy. So what I've done with regards to buying an investment coat is I've tried to break it down into kind of the four areas that I think you will need a coat for. So that will be one coat for each area. You've got your trans-seasonal coat. So that's the sort of piece that is going to see you through milder winter days, your spring and your autumn days. And then your second coat is going to be for more formal occasions. So something that you can put on, say, over a suit or when you need to look a bit smarter. And then you can have a really fun piece in your wardrobe that you will whack on at the weekends, you put it on with your jeans. It's just something that you love. That might be more of a trend-led piece, so that might last you for a couple of seasons but it's not going to be your lifetime coat and then fourthly you need something in your wardrobe that is a real workhorse that when those temperatures start dropping when they're kind of in the minus figures that is actually still going to keep you stylish but it's also going to keep you toasty warm so they're the four coats that I'm going to be talking about today so let's kick off with the trans seasonal piece nothing is better for your trans seasonal wardrobe than a trench coat. This particular one is by Diane von Fastenberg, but as you know, Burberry really is king of the trench. So if you are looking for an amazing investment piece, I really would suggest investing in a Burberry trench. They have been producing them for years and years and years. And if you do buy one, it's going to last you for a long time into the future. And you can also get things remodeled as well. So if shapes and styles do slightly change over the next five to 10 years, which you can expect them to, something like a Burberry trench can be remodeled to really keep you up with the current shapes of the season. So these trenches, they come in a kind of honey color, which is this color, they come in black, khaki, quite sort of subdued neutral tones generally. So if I was planning my coat, I would look at what I've got and try and fill holes. So if perhaps you're going to opt for a neutral sort of honey color in your trench, you then might want to opt for a black in another coat. You want to try and think and plan your wardrobe, which will prevent you over buying. The next type of coat in your wardrobe is going to be the one that you wear for more formal occasions. Both of these coats are actually by Celine, and for me, they are the perfect example of a formal coat. They're a great easy shape. They're a really good length for wearing over dresses. For me, I do have a slight thing about when my dress is coming out the bottom of my coat. And they're just clean, elegant, simple line, which if you are looking for an investment, that is something that you're going to want to look for. Nothing too trend-led, something that actually might not be the hottest trend right now, but because of that will not age. My final more formal coat is actually something that's probably going to challenge some of you, but something like this Mew Mew, it's not your classic go-to idea of a formal coat, but actually the shape is perfect. It's just a very simple, elegant cut coat. 
and although it is a very bright pattern you can actually wear this with a lot of things because when it's buttoned up that is your statement so really if you are a fan of neutrals something like this over the top can look incredibly stylish the third coat that I mentioned at the beginning was your weekend coat. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're wearing it on the weekend, but for me, that's your bit of fun coat. Something that you can wear with jeans, you can fling on and you feel a bit more fun in. So something like that, you might want to look to the high street. It might be something that actually you don't want to invest a lot of money in because that is your trend piece. Having said that, Something like this cute little parka could be just what the doctor ordered. It's fun, it looks great with jeans, and actually it is really super warm as well. We've also got this little jacket for instance. Uh, this is by Unreal Furs, and these are just, again, really great. You can wear that with a pair of black leather trousers in the evening. These sorts of little jackets are just great to have in the wardrobe, and as I say, very fun, and just are a bit more fashion than some of the other pieces that I've talked. The fourth coat that I feel any wardrobe needs is the real winter snuggly warmer and you don't have to sacrifice style for warmth which is something I've always found quite difficult myself. I did actually invest in a Joseph Shearling a couple of years ago and I have to say I've never looked back. It's the warmest thing I've ever owned. It's really chic and I would highly recommend something like that if you are one of these people that does feel the cold. Now my winter warmer that I'm picking out for you today is this coat by Montclair. Montclair's great, they are just known for really warm, snuggly winter coats. Something like this is going to really see you through the winter and also it's still got enough of a shape that you're still going to feel stylish. Guys, thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. If you've got any comments or if you are looking for anything in particular, do comment below. For now, I'm going to say goodbye and I wish you a wonderful and safe week. Take care.